Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm actually filming this a week in advance because it came and I couldn't wait. Before we move on to this video, I wanted to do a quick giveaway announcement of the winner from last week's video. Thank you to those who have entered the giveaway for this Hobonichi Weeks. A bunch of my stickers from my shop and the two pens. Uh, the winner is getting this platinum fountain pen and also the Hobonichi pen. So I used a random comment picker to pick a winner and the winner is Joanne T. So congratulations Joanne, you have won this giveaway bundle and I hope you will enjoy using your Hobonichi for next year. Again, thank you guys for entering and letting me know, as usual, your thoughts, um, how you are using your journals and inspiring me to keep journaling and all that good stuff. So thank you so much again and congratulations to Joanne for winning this giveaway package. Please contact me at hellotalksmut at gmail.com to get the process started and I will be sending this package to you. Thank you so much again guys and let's continue on with this unboxing video. So I had to do an unboxing video. Um, I just basically took it out of the packaging and I didn't even look through it. But So this is, you know, sort of a true unboxing. So basically it just came in one of those cushy envelopes, I forgot the name. <laughs> Um, but I took it out and yeah, so um, it's very, very colorful. This one, this design, this is, first of all, is a Sinclair R, I believe. It's a collab with um, the Nook company. And yeah, so this is pretty exciting. I've always wanted to try out rickshaw cases and I had my eye on Nook a few, I guess a few months ago, but they weren't producing any, um, so I didn't get anything. Um, so yeah, so when I saw this came up, uh, I just had to jump on it and they had the, I think it was the debut special um, pricing for a few weeks. So I um, was excited and I believe these were debuting at the San Francisco Pen Show. I'm not sure if it was San Francisco, another show. Um, either way, I was in a, either one, so um, I couldn't get it, but I made an order and it came pretty promptly, it shipped, so uh, no problem there. So this print is um, called the Inktopus Ghost. So this is the Ink Inktopus Ghost. As you can see, it's like a mishmash of like different colors together and um yeah i think this is like out of all of them this is my favorite one and i was really close to getting the i can't remember right now but it was like this black and white classic pattern it took me so long to decide what i want for the print and what i want for the inside like forever it took me weeks and I, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go with it. I want something like more colorful this time instead of my neutrals. And yeah, so I also got a three pen sleeve, I believe is on the inside. Yes, it is. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so for the inside, I decided to go with Bordeaux, which is like this like maroon color. Um, yeah, and I even forgot I actually went with that. Okay, so yeah, I went with that and I was so close to getting the fuchsia, but it looked really bright pink instead and I wanted this like wine color and this is what I got. This is like a wine red um, called Bordeaux. Um, it's actually French, but I don't know. I need to check what Bordeaux means in French, but it's this beautiful wine color and I love it. It's not too bright pink. So, oh my god, I, I'm so happy I went with this one. It's so fuzzy and soft. So fuzzy and it's like on both sides, even the lining on the inside, both sides, which I um, I was wondering about. And then there's like three pen slots and it says Knock right there, Knock Co. And um, they recently had an option where you can have like three 
compartments on both sides instead of just one side and I sort of wish I knew that before but I didn't know and so I only have one big pocket on this side and then the three pen slots on the other side so yeah if you guys are going to be ordering um, check out their Instagram page before because all the information is mostly there and it was sort of confusing um, ordering I must say but I figured it out um, like I wasn't even sure like what patterns was available uh, to what patterns was available to order from them uh, it's actually you have to put in like special special choose a special fabric and then put it in the comments like what you want so um, yeah and I didn't know that a few of these designs are available like this this print was available and I didn't know so um, yeah I'm glad I found that out but yeah so yeah I wanted to get this as the outside but I wasn't sure because I wanted something like colorful too um, because rickshaw is such a fun brand um, so I wanted something more fun for the outside and just in case if I didn't really like the busyness of the outside I made sure to get the three pen slot with something more subdued and more like kind of more me so uh hound's tooth right is this called hound's tooth I think it's hound's tooth yeah so I was almost going to get this print but I decided to get the three pen case so I can just use it like this and it seemed like and inside I got sage green and look at that I thought it would go really good with like the pens I have this one I believe is in the medium or oh, wait is it a small it's a small I think uh yeah I think it's the small but I'm gonna have to try but yeah I'm so happy I ended up with the sage um I think it's so beautiful um and then I went with like dark gray for the logo so yeah it actually feels really good in the hands this is my first time trying out rickshaw i'm pretty happy with it and i can't wait to see how it goes they also sent looks like some stickers so let's see um nib sticker um oh this one's cute writers gotta write I like that one a lot and let's see it's made in san francisco cool uh, rickshaw logo Ooh, what's this this is uh, ink. uh this is octopus with a fountain pen <laughs> that's cute um and this one more, looks more like a rock and roll kind of like gangster uh fountain pen yeah so not sure what i'm gonna do with this <laughs> um but i'm definitely gonna keep it and then this one is what is this is royal plush okay so that's cute um that's nice i like that one and then thank you for your order join us on instagram yes i have going i'm going to and i already did and then um oh they have a rickshaw word search find all 10 words anatomy of a fountain pen i love um word search i used to play them all the time as a kid this is going to be fun so let me get my pens and test these out so i have mostly my pens are pretty small um, i like the small pens this one is the esterbrook jr jr um, so i think it's going to fit here perfectly let's see yep goes right in there oh i don't know if my camera is in focus okay so it's right in there um and then this one is lavender cafe lot i think it's discontinued now and this is a little bit bigger but still considered a small pen i guess it's not like a jumbo pen and that also goes in there and i got like the um i believe this is the small k small uh pen is it pen koozie I don't know i'm not familiar with rickshaw names um and this is sailor it goes in perfectly so this is going to fit um smaller size pens perfectly and yeah it's actually really really nice it's really comfortable 
and I can just put it in here if I want to carry it with like more pens. But honestly, I think I'm just going to like I like if I'm at home, I definitely like oh, I really like this one. I'm glad I ended up getting this one. Um but yeah, if I have more pens that I have inked up. Uh, right now, I actually only have three pens inked up, which is kind of weird. Yeah, it just closes. Um, let me actually find uh, another pen. Okay, so I do have another inked up. This one is a per permanent ink that I use to write my thank you cards. So, and this is a Jinhao, I believe, but let's just put that in one of the slots. I'll put it in the middle one. Okay. And that's that. So let's see. And that's how it works. And I know people put like field notes in here. So this is my currently inked notebook. This is just a Hobonichi uh, thin notebook. Um, and yeah, I need to really update this. Honestly, I have not updated this and I need to. Um, but I guess I can fit it in here. Um, let's try. Yes, it does. So that's perfect. Now it's like, I, can, I know exactly what I have inked up. And if I wanted to, I can put it on the inside as well. So it's gonna be easy access and actually fits perfectly. So I like that. So inked up, currently inked notebook with my inked up pens. And then if I also want to put something here, probably put like pens. Okay guys, I'm back with my um, Twisby Eco in Pilot um, Decimal. So let's see how that fits. Twisby Eco on the side. It's a pretty lengthy pen and then I have the pilot on the other side like that so I have it like that and I'm going to so I have these pens in here and I'm going to put stick it right in there and see how it feels with it um, closed <laughs> And it does, it closes like that. Actually, it looks better if I close it on the left. So that's um, how it is. I probably will keep it only for one uh, fountain pen though. So if anything, I would be like, like using whatever I use a lot, um, I will put like on the outside. Um, I think I have one more pen. Yes, I do. So this is my current favorite. This is the Pilot E95S and it's a pocket like pen. So this one, I think I'll just keep there because it doesn't, f it's going to disappear in the other one, other. So, so yeah, that is how I would probably use it. And the bulkiness, it looks like this. It's very flexible material so yeah guys I'm really feeling this one um, and this one's really colorful um, but I don't know I, this is definitely this houndstooth and this sage green is really like me so I really like this color combination and I'm glad I went with this one for the pocket um, I wasn't sure if I wanted it for this uh, the actual case um, yeah like I said I have to um, kind of get used to this color um, but yeah this one I am already gravitating towards a lot more that's a lot more like my colors so I don't know what else to say about this um, but yeah like I also wanted to chat quickly about thrift shopping <laughs> um if you guys follow me on instagram you guys will know that i 
recently have gotten into collecting um, like bone china and like porcelain thingamabobs and teacups so I've actually been thrifting almost every week and honestly I've been a little obsessed with it the last few weeks but uh, I wanted to just uh, share some recent finds um, for example this one was a find at Value Village um, slash Savers in Canada if you're in the US uh, this is an actually a very beautiful I don't know if it's a poppy no it's not a poppy I don't think um, but it's so beautiful and it's definitely a vintage piece um, yeah so the imprint's actually behind the glass which is great but it's so beautiful I have it all cleaned up and it's like one of my favorite that I picked up um, I'm really inspired by like vintage floors at the moment so a lot of like stickers that I'm making is probably going to be inspired by like vintage botanicals one way or another I also picked up this is not ceramic or anything but these I couldn't put it down these are mid-century um, glass cups and I was trying so hard I was trying so hard to not pick these up but for two dollars I don't know I just couldn't put this design down it just spoke to me and it just reminds me of like glass stained windows I don't know and yellow is such a pretty color yellow and black I just had to pick these up yeah I feel really guilty about it but I just couldn't leave them behind um what else I also found these beautiful signed by the artist. Um, these are pressed dried flowers onto glass. And I think there's like a thin piece of like resin over it protecting the layer, but it's so beautiful. And there's a lot of detail in this piece. Again, I tried not to pick this up, but I couldn't help it. It was like this amazing like thrifting day like where I just like found so many treasures and I felt guilty for finding so many in like one go that I tried to put so much things back but these are the ones that I had to keep so but I almost put this back as well but I couldn't it's so beautiful and I'm such a sucker for these like floral dried flowers botanics and everything so I am so happy I did not put this back. I'm going to hang this up probably next to my writing desk. And I'm not going to show everything here because I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing any like thrift finds or anything like that. So um, if you are, I can always, I don't know, maybe kind of like combine them into one video. Um, so let me know, know down below if you are interested in watching a video of like my thrifting finds. Um, so I'm going to show this uh, from a recent haul. This is a beautiful garden book. And I got this because it has really, this is a, from the, I think, 86, I believe. Um, it's, I, I saw it, I just don't remember. But um, it's actually, no, 87. So 87, 1987. It's gorgeous. It has gorgeous botanical illustrations. Um, it's called The Permissive Garden by Erica Lady Pierce and this was a good find because I was just like oh my god the florals are gorgeous in this book like I I, I just love this book um, and they're all like I think watercolor and there's some photos in here and it's so inspirational for me because I'm very inspired by like botanical stuff so um, yeah like these are very simple illustrations but simple is good you know it doesn't have to be like complicated it's there's a there's like an honesty and there's an innocence to all these like 
I don't know these vintage florals it's just it has like that raw rawness to it I can't describe it um I just love it so much and it's so inspirational um so yeah this was my recent find and I absolutely love it and also it's in great condition if I take off the jacket it has like it's like has like this gold foiling on the spine and it's like this beautiful beautiful vintage green I would call it it's so pretty um on a bookshelf if you want to just take off the jacket but I'm keeping on the jacket of course to preserve it but yeah it's so pretty guys um are you guys into like you know collecting these vintage books or anything let me know if you're into that and what you like to thrift what's your favorite thing to thrift let me know um if you would like to see a video um on my thrifting finds let me know down below right now my favorite print is the hound's tooth yeah i love this i just love this combo this sage green it's like so fall it does scream fall for me the hound's tooth i i just love it so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i will join you guys again next week thank you bye